Do you know how to estimate decimal sums and differences using front-end estimation? Take a look at this dilemma involving a restaurant bill. A family went out to eat at a restaurant. When the bill came, they wanted to figure out the cost of the meal as quickly as possible. Here's what the bill said. One of the meals cost $16.25. Another meal cost $10.13. Then there was a child's meal, which cost $6.02, and another child's meal, which cost $5.09. Without adding each number all together, can you use front-end estimation to figure this out? You can. Well, first, what is front-end estimation? Front-end estimation involves adding the front ends of the numbers. In this case, the whole numbers circled here represent the front end. So let's add 16 plus 10 plus 6 plus 5. If I add 16 plus 10 here, I get 26 plus 6 plus 5, which is 11. 26 plus 11 is 37. The family could say that their meal costs about $37. Let's look at another one. We want to find this sum as an estimate. 14.03 plus 18.4 plus 20.7. Again, let's take the front ends. 14, 18, and 20. If we add 14 plus 18 plus 20, we get an estimate of 52. Now you can use front-end estimation to find differences as well. Here we have 12.3 minus 6.4. Again, let's take the front end. And in this case, the front end is everything to the left of the decimal point. I've got 12 here, and I've got 6 here. So I've got 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6. So we could say that an estimate for this subtraction problem is 6. Now take a look at this one. 40.8 minus 13.2 minus 5.9. Again, let's take the front ends. We have 40, 13, and 5. So we can rewrite the problem as 40 minus 13 minus 5. Let's work in order from left to right. 40 minus 13 is 27. 27 minus 5 equals 22. So an accurate estimation here for the differences between these three numbers is 22. That would be my answer. That would be my estimate. Let's look at one more. Here I have 5.9 minus 8.3. Again, take the front ends. 5 minus 8. You can say 5 minus 8. And in this answer, my estimate is going to be negative. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Negative 3 is my estimate for this problem.